Okay, here we have hoping to photograph the misbehaviour. We're running over that point. It's already been switched because it was running down it before. Ah! Now as it came off that point onto a short piece of track you saw it stutter and make a funny noise. And this is as it's gone on to the switched section of the frog. Uh, I'm hoping this is not damaging the decoder and that the muddled signals that the decoder is getting to make it do this isn't going to bugger it up. But uh, shortly as it comes off the V onto this other piece of track as we will be very shortly. Hopefully it will start to behave normally again. There you are. And then actually the reason it stopped there is because you've got very little room to manoeuvre and it's against the stops. So that's what's happening. Some sort of feedback. Let's have a thing what we got. Now here we've got the stock rail and wing rails bonded. There's the cut between the switched frog section. Here's the frog section and you've got your two insulated joiners. If we go to the other end of this, here we have a little piece four track, just four sleepers long. There is an insulated rail joiner where it comes off the V of this point. Uh, and again, this particular point, again, is bonded. Uh, and those provide feed to the outer rails of the point, as well as for the frog juicer. The main feeds into the track are at that end of the head shunt and then again the feeds come through at each end of the sidings.